Hi everybody! We are going to do something challenging, something we've never done before. What is it? Today we're going to try to capture a galaxy without any filters. We have never tried this before because, uh, well, galaxies is broadband, so uh, narrow band is easy from the city, but without any filters uh, in broadband, I don't know. Okay, so we have to find a galaxy to image tonight. The question is which one? So I really want to do something pretty uh, impressive, so maybe like three galaxies at the same time, or even like eight, like here. Uh, the problem is, I've already done the little triplet and the M95 group. The problem is, if you're imaging from home, you might have vignetting on your edges, especially if you're imaging from a city. So it's actually best here if we pick just a single galaxy with nothing going on around it, because I'm guessing we're going to have to crop out the uh, the edges pretty bad. So. Um, Let's go with M94, which seems to be a, a pretty good one. There's nothing around, so let's pick it. Alright guys, so here on SGP, uh, I just found M94, and it seems like it's going to fit in the frame pretty well. Uh, it's going to look obviously pretty small, but that should be fine. Let's try to see if it's uh, better if we unzoom a bit. Uh, I just want to make sure there's nothing going on around it, like no bright galaxy or anything, because I know I'm going to have to crop it uh, pretty bad, so uh, there seems to be no nothing around, so uh, that's pretty good. So at least we can just focus on this single galaxy and not care about what's around it. Um, so I'm just going to create that. I don't think we have to care about the rotation because there's nothing around anyway, so as long as the galaxy is in the center, uh, that should be fine. Alright, and then uh, let's see here, we have M94 at the bottom here, I'm going to make it go all the way up. And uh, let's see, how many seconds? Uh, I think I'm gonna go with maybe five minutes. No, 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 three minutes. I know from home uh, you're supposed to do smaller exposures, so maybe three minutes is more than enough. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do five minutes because my files are gonna be so huge uh, from the uh, QHY600C, and we'll just do a hundred of them uh, at random here. So the camera that we'll be using today is the QHY600C and as you can see here, there's no filters, no nothing attached. So it's just going to capture all of the light, even the light pollution, um, through the telescope. So it's going to be interesting. So tonight will be our first time uh, using this NUC here, uh, NUC, whatever it's called. So we'll be trying to... Uh, this is a mini PC, which I think we have a video coming up about this as well. So we'll show you guys how we install this. But um, so we'll be using no laptop tonight, just this mini PC, which we'll connect to with our desktop upstairs. So we'll uh, control everything from there. You know, clusters and galaxies from home are really, really not supposed to be imaged uh, from a, such a light polluted zone. Um, in narrowband, you can do nebulae easily because narrowband filters, uh, they block out much of the light pollution. Um, but broadband filters and no filter at all will not block anything. So we'll have both the light from the galaxy and the light from light pollution. So it's going to be a challenge and uh, it's going to be fun. So we'll find out if we can actually get something uh, reasonable. So here we have the telescope, which I love so much, and the camera, the QHY 600C. And so the files on this one are pretty huge because it's a 60 megapixel camera. So that's why I don't want to, to do like short exposures. Even though short exposures are better from the city uh, to avoid too much light pollution in your frames, but um, I'm going to just go with three minutes because of that. And sadly there are some clouds coming in here, so I, it's not going to help. It's going to be a challenge, not only with light pollution, but with the clouds as well. So <laughs> that should be fun. All right, so it's now dark enough outside. Uh, we are connected to the NUC on our laptop here, but um, what I want to make sure is that nothing gets stuck uh, in terms of cables when we slew. So I'm going to slew right now to M94. So we picked M94, um, hopefully it's going to be a good target. What scares me is I know the, the core is pretty bright, but um, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, center on target, and then I'm going to run outside and check if nothing gets stuck in there.
All right, so right now, um, the only issue I'm having with the new uh, Nook is the plate solving. So I'm not really sure why, but it's not plate solving right. So luckily I have the Wi-Fi, so I can do a blind solve, but I'm really annoyed by this. I'm not sure why it's not plate solving. I made sure that my, um, my everything was correct. Like for example, if I go here, I made sure that my um, pixel scale was correct. So I, I'm not sure why, anyway. This is a test shot of M94, so it uh, looks pretty bright in the center, which is pretty scary. But we'll see what the first uh, full 5-minute shot looks like. It's now 8.36, so it's uh, late enough. And uh, so M94, I hope, will look nice. So we'll see here. The guiding is going okay. Uh, 0.92 is not amazing, but it's going okay. And um, yeah, so I'm just afraid it's going to be too bright in the center. So uh, we'll see. Let's see what this first shot looks like because this was just like 10 seconds. All right, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, there is a bunch of, looks like, oh, it looks so weird. Um, so I wasn't really sure if this was because my exposure time was too long or because uh, SGP is just not showing um, the image properly. So I tried different types of stretch and every time it would just look so, so weird. So um, luckily I just spent the last uh, few minutes trying to upload this image onto my main desktop through the cloud and I was able to. So here is the image here um, on Pixel Insight on my main desktop. Uh, now. The core might be a bit too bright, but I'll just go with it and we'll see how it goes. Look at that. Look at all these weird uh, circles all around. So this kind of scares me. Wait, you can't really see it, but... Oof, dust. Actually, maybe it's fine. I think once we stack it, there might not be anything left. All right, I'll just keep imaging. I'm just, I just don't like those weird uh, streaks here. So strange. And so we just imaged all night and um, it went pretty well. phone around 6 30 a.m. I just turned everything off because the sun was rising so there was no point of imaging anymore and I'm just so glad I can just connect to the telescope like that uh, with my phone. And I was planning to take some flats but um, since we're doing a, a crazy challenge here I was like you know what let's just do like no calibration frames at all so no flats no darks nothing just pure lights and we'll see what we get. And so processing this was a huge pain. Uh, it was very, very difficult. But with this camera, the noise was actually pretty good. So I just cropped a bunch of stuff out, like the beginning, and just focused on the object. As you can see, there is a bright halo around it, which is not an artifact, it's actually normal. Uh, it's gases from the galaxy. And it's actually pretty cool, but I'm, I'm sure if I was to image uh, this object from the desert, we could see much more of this halo there. That's something I have to do later. But um, yeah, once I played with the colors, uh, everything went actually surprisingly well. As you can see here is the final result. So the Galaxy M94, which I am actually very surprised with. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty nice, even from home. And this is just one night. So no filters, nothing. And uh, well, I'm actually pretty mind blown because I always thought that there was no point, like no point at all of imaging from home with no filters in broadband, but as you can see here, um, I was wrong. So this is pretty cool. I probably should try to image a galaxy for like 40 hours and see what happens. So we'll see you guys next time. And hopefully this video proved to you that you can actually image from home from the crazy uh, city lights, even in broadband. And uh, yeah, hopefully this motivated you to image from home 
and clear skies.